Hey guys, Jared Douthat here with JD Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own animatronic hand like my Vise Gauntlets from League of Legends. This can also apply to any other animatronic hand you might need to make. But this is the one I made, I'm going to show you how to make it. To explain it simply, elastic bands run from the fingertips all the way down to the base, and that's what's keeping the fingers up straight and flat like that. Inside, there's strings running along the opposite side of the fingers in about here, there's key rings in there that you can pull down on each one, and that pulls the fingers down. The elastic bands pop them straight back up. Now here I've got some finger segments of the, uh, the other hand that I have yet to put together. I'm going to show you kind of how it works. See on the finger segments, you have two holes on either side. And the ones on the top run through the elastic, the ones on the bottom run through with some fishing line, and those attach to the key rings. On the circular portion, I've cut this notch in the bottom one where the key rings are, so whenever two parts meet, whenever two parts meet like this, they'll want to be straight, but they make room for that movement, that slot does. The string on the contractor side, the fishing line side, wants to be shorter, so you have to make this notch here in order to allow it to make that bend. Otherwise, they'll just want to remain straight. It's important on the extender side, the side with the elastic, to make it straight. That's why there's this little nublet here from the polyethylene tubing that I've used to run through it. Each of these are made with Pepicura and slushed Rondo, and I use polyethylene tubing on either side in order to make that hole all the way through it. Now on the hand itself, the holes, this is also Pepicura slush Rondo by the way. You can see on the inside all the Rondo I've used. It's rather thick in order to make uh, it strong enough for the tension that the elastic bands will provide. But I've used the polyethylene tubing once again to run through where I need it to. And I've mounted a couple, a couple fish eyes Five of them here, you can kind of see this one back there in the back. That one over here. That's the thumb to the thumb. It's kind of already been slushed together. Looks kind of awful, but it gets the job done. The polyethylene tubing, once again, runs all the way through to the top. This is where the elastic is going to go through. It's going to go through here, all the way to a fisheye. The contractor side doesn't have any polyethylene tubing. You can see the hole right there. It's just a hole, and the key rings are going to essentially be mounted right in there for you to put your finger in whenever you slide your hand on the inside, like so. Now materials wise, I'm using some simple round elastic, elastic bands, nothing to it, five yards and a thing, just one couple bucks three or four or something like that. I don't, I don't remember, I bought so many of them. I just got them sitting around. I've got this fishing line, which I honestly do not know the strength on because I've had it sitting around for so long, but it's over 20 pounds for sure. I haven't measured it. Just get some really strong fishing line and that will be enough. Key rings. For life of me, I couldn't find some good key rings, but they sold this in the Walmart's make your own jewelry kind of section where they sell all the beads and stuff like that. They're rather large when compared to a normal key ring, but you kind of want that for if you're using a glove underneath, it's easier to get your finger through because it's got all that extra space. Bigger is better. Then I've also, I'm also using some washers for on the fingertips. Doesn't matter the size. I'll show you on the big one. On the, finger, on the very tips of the fingers, you can kind of see that they're wrapped around. Come on, focus. The fishing line is wrapped around this one. The elastic's wrapped around that one. Eventually, I'm going to glue them down so they look a little bit nicer. If I had more time, I'd attempt to hide them, but I'm just going to glue them down for now. They don't have to be glued in order to get the job done, but in my opinion, it looks better than them sticking out like so. So now onto the how to actually wire one up. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with a thumb. So, 
to begin with, I found this elastic isn't strong enough by itself to keep the fingers upright. So I, I use multiple of it, like that's double, that's triple. I found triple is good enough for the weight I'm using. For your own project, you will probably need to determine that for yourself. But just add one, one cord at a time, or you can also get, uh, I found Walmart sells bungee rope. You can also use that if you like. I discovered a little bit too late to uh, use it in all of it, but this works good enough for me, so I'm gonna continue using it. Go ahead and measure out about, about how much you'll need. A little bit more, just so you have room. The nice thing about elastic is that it stretches. Cut off what you need in a triple amount. So, about like so. Three elastic bands, all the same length. And I'm going to run this through one of my washers and tie a double knot into it. You don't really need a special knot for the elastic as it kind of holds itself together a little bit more than the fishing line does. The fishing line has a specific knot that I use just because it's a pain in the Tukas. Just make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want it sliding on you. Then I cut off the excess so it looks nice on the end. And these scissors. There you go. Make sure my pathway's clear. I got a little bit of glazing putty in this one. Then start feeding your elastic through the top area of the fingers. It's very important it goes to the top and now it's keep it flat. If you do on the bottom, it's going to keep it contracted. It's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to pull a fist closed than it is to pull a fist open. So that goes through one finger like so. I push it through my second finger. Polyethylene tubing is nice for this if you're using Papakura because it's super cheap. Like the stuff I'm using, I think is 19 cents a yard, uh, excuse me, 19 cents a foot, which is nothing. I spent maybe two dollars on all the polyethylene tubing I used on this project. And then you run it through the arm section as well. Make sure your tubings are clear, otherwise there's going to be blockage. I'm not sure this tubing is clear as why I say that. Run it, run it on through. Excess through. There we go. I don't know if you can see, but it's appeared down here. I can just pull it taut. Position your finger in the right position. Not that position. Now, go ahead and pull it all the way tight, and that should put it in a flat position. It's going to want to rotate because you don't have the two strings in. But once it's in that position, go ahead and fold your finger into its fully flexed position. Hold it taut. I need to put it through the fishing, the fish eye down here before I continue because I have to actually knot it down there. at a time through the fish eye. Probably can't even see what I'm doing. My hand's in the way for one. But I'm just fishing the elastic through the fish eye so I can tie a knot in it. This is where the other end of the elastic is going to stop. Okay, there we go. So, pull it taut like I said. Make it straight then bend it. This is going to be the max, the maximum the elastic needs to stretch, so it's very important that you make it as tight as possible in this position. You can let it go after that. 
but you basically need to tie a knot while it's in this flex position. I tie that knot down in there, as you can see, and I can still bend the thumb all the way down without breaking the elastic, and it wants to pop up like that, see? It wants to pop up, that's a good thing. Now it kinda does that rotatey thing, but we'll fix that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my excess down, down here, and I'll string the fishing line next. Next, we're gonna do the fishing line. Just grab a bunch of fishing line. I don't have a measurement, I just use my arms extended to their full length. going to tie it to a key ring. In order to tie it to this key ring, you're going to use what I believe is called a butcher's knot. I say that because I learned it while working in the meat department. On the key ring, that butcher's knot, go ahead and loop it through, like so. Set it down. Run the two Sides across your fingers like so. Hold it down with the other hand, put a loop in it, and grab this short end with your two fingers. So, again. Loop it through. Set it down. Get your two lines. Put a loop in it that go nowhere, and grab a short end, loop, grab a short end, through, and then pull it taut, pull it tight, takes a little bit of force, but that butcher's knot gets tighter and tighter the more you pull on either side, so that won't go nowhere, then just put a couple regular old shoe tying knots in it. Like so. Then you cut off your excess. Makes sense? Now this key ring is going to be on the inside of the hand. Right here, you can see where I've got this one in here. That's where it's going. So, grab your string and loop it through. You set the fingertips up on the table, the rest in my lap. Loop it through the hole. Then you're gonna loop it through the bottoms of the fingers, through those tubes. Project and you have smaller fingertips, you can drill straight through it. It worked out pretty fine for me on this project. I'm going to through the top here. And once it's all the way through, I'm going to grab a small washer, put it through the line, and run it back down through. You're going to do this back and forth going through key ring and your washer each time until you get about three or four strings going through. The more strings you got, the more rigid the finger will be when you're done. The more the better. There's one. Nice and taut. If I pull it too taut, the finger starts to bend. You don't want that. You want your finger straight, as straight as possible when you pull it taut. And I'm running it through the key ring again. You can let it be a little bit loose as long as it's taut when you put the final knot in. Okay. 
So now I've run it back and forth, and I need to put a knot on this end. So just loop it through the washer one more time. Put a knot in it. And then you're going to do regular knots, just like so. You pull on that regular old shoe tie knot. You're going to put this loop around the bottom of the washer, going around all the different strings. Like that. And do this four or five times until you feel like that's not going to go anywhere. And then you're going to cut off your excess. So that's two. There's three. There is four. And five. There you go. So now it's done. I haven't cut off the excess yet, but whenever you pull that key ring, and you're pretty much done after that. The fingers all hook up in the exact same manner. You just need to repeat it up to 10 times, five for each hand, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, feel like I left something out, please leave a uh, comment below. I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. If you liked the video, found it helpful, please leave a like, and uh, consider subscribing for more for more cosplay how-to videos in the future. If you have a suggestion for future videos, please leave those also in the comments below or send me a message. Thanks for watching and keep on building.